Hmm, this felt is quite interesting, isn't it? It makes it look like I've got some funky highlights going on in there. Um, I yeah, I am filtered. I am still rough. So I thought I'd give you. I was going to do a podcast before Vlogmas, but to be honest, I haven't got much to show you anyway. And I'm still so ill um, that, like, making a whole podcast and everything, um, I'm just exhausted. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to tell you about Vlogmas and what is hopefully coming up. And then do a little health update and life update at the end in case you want to skip it. But, um... Things are not great, to be honest. Um, yeah, anyway, so Vlogmas. Vlogmas this year. I'm bringing back what I did last year, um, which was cheesy Hallmark Christmas film of the day. I don't know if that will be every single day like it was last year. Um, but I'm going to do as many as I can. So basically what that is is I watch a classic, you know, sort of hallmarky, romantic Christmas film type thing and just do a little review on it. Um, I try and do it so that the uh, films are from different platforms and different channels because I know some people don't have access to some of the subscriptions and yeah, I'm going to bring that back this year. I've watched four so far. So that's coming back this year. Um, the second thing I'm going to do that isn't going to be daily, but I'll do as many as I can, is I'm going to do a craft tutorial um, every episode. And they're going to be like really simple, quick Christmas crafts. Um hopefully a lot of them will involve yarn so that if you've got scraps of yarn and stuff hanging around and you don't know what to do with them or you'd like to make some christmas things or the children would like to make some christmas things that type of vibe so i'm going to try and do that the last thing i'm going to do which i'm kind of excited about i'm not sure if it will appeal to anyone but um as well as the usual vlogmas yarn stuff advent calendars what i'm making what you know other makers are making what patterns etc out um i thought it's nothing to do with yarn but i thought what i'm going to do is a, a very short feature every day the first part is going to um focus on a christmas tradition that we have in wales or that we used to have in Wales, was historical. Um, some of our Christmas traditions are weird. Some are wonderful, but weird. So I thought it just might be nice to let people know what Welsh Christmas traditions are and used to be. Um, I find things like that really interesting. So, And then the second part of that feature um, is going to be me reading a section every day only a short couple of sentences um, from A Child's Christmas in Wales, which is like a piece of prose that was written by the Welsh author Dylan Thomas, who is one of my favourite poets. And he wrote a little, um, like a short story about what it was like at Christmas time for children in Wales, like in the 1920s. So by December the 24th, I'll have gone through the whole um, story of A Child's Christmas in Wales. But each each day is only going to be about two minutes long, if that. So it's really short. But I just thought it would be nice to share something from like my heritage um, and just because some of the folklore and stuff in Wales is just bizarre and fascinating and I hope that 
people will find that interesting as well because I do and you know some of the things that I'm going to be talking about I didn't know or I did know but I wasn't sure where it had come from and the origins of some of these things so yeah it's been interesting for me as well researching these things and um, finding out a bit more about them and why we do them so I'm excited about that um, yeah, so that is going to be Vlogmas. Obviously, I'll be doing the daily, like, family stuff and, you know, the usual going to get the Christmas tree and that kind of thing, um, anything I make. Now, those three little features I'm hoping will just sort of add something to it, really. So that is Vlogmas and I'm really looking forward to it. I enjoyed Vlogtober and despite being ill, um, it like gave me something to focus on, which was nice. Just wanted to quickly pop this bit in um, because I forgot to put it in. I have been in such a funk for reasons which I'll explain in a minute um, with my health and other reasons that I've dug myself into a bit of a pit and I haven't opened my Instagram or my YouTube or anything and I don't know why. It's like, not that I'm scared to do it, but it's like I'm avoiding it and I don't know why. Um, I need to snap out of that very quickly because it's not a good way to be. I love Instagram, I love looking at everyone's pictures, I love interacting with people, and perhaps it's, it's just that I wanted to hide myself away and not interact. I think that's what it what it might be, actually. Um, so yeah, I need to snap out of that. Any encouragement would be appreciated. So, an update on me. I am still ill. Um, my gastro consultant prescribed me some medication. It's like a chemo medication. He gave me two weeks of it. So I started taking it. It helped a bit, actually. It, it helped me a bit. And then it ran out. And they won't give me any more. So that's that. Give me a medication to help me. Won't give me any more, even though it started to help. Um, but I have had dates for my nuclear medicine scans, which is good. They are coming up very soon. I do have to travel to West Wales, like it's about an hour away for each scan, which is a bit of a pain. Um, but, you know, that's the only place apparently that does these nuclear medicine scans. Um, so that's great. And, um, sorry, Blythe is just walking all over my yarn. Blythe, off please. Thank you. Goodness me. Yes, naughty dog, aren't you? Yeah. Um, sorry, distracted by the dog. What was I saying? Scans. Yeah, so that's in progress. And I'm hoping that... The results will show something that they'll be able to give me some sort of treatment for. Um, because the prospect of being this ill at Christmas time doesn't fill me with joy. There's nothing I can do about it. If I'm this ill at Christmas time, I'm this ill. But I would rather not be this ill. So that is that. Um, the last thing I was going to say is that I um, had a meeting with work. I, I'm off sick, obviously. Most of the time I'm barely conscious at the moment, so working would not be very easy. Um, had a meeting with my two bosses who kindly informed me that they have made me redundant, um, which is brilliant. You know, obviously it's because I'm off sick and that's that so my last day christmas eve my last day is christmas eve nice 
very nice. So yeah, it's nice to know that um, I'm appreciated enough to just get rid of me as soon as I get ill. I don't... Well, I've been so ill, like, and done my job. I'm, I'm disabled, you know, like, I, I just work through it. But it's a bit hard to lecture and teach and be live with students um, when I'm fainting all the time. <laughs> like, I could do other aspects of my job, like marking and creating the curriculum and everything, because if I faint, okay, I could just deal with that, come back to it. But live lecturing, Blythe, that's quite rude. Stop squeaking. <laughs> live lecturing while... while I'm uh, fainting and everything um, is not great. So, so that's that. My job is over. Um, I, I'm obviously not happy about it. I don't know what I will do. Finding a job in my field, working from home, um, is not the easiest of things especially when I feel this ill, but, you know, again, there's nothing I can do about it, is there, so just got to accept it and try and think of something um, to do after Christmas. Yeah, part of me um, just wants to do something with wild magic yarns um you know yarn dyeing and pattern writing and that sort of thing um is it realistic i don't know it would be realistic if i was healthy it would be realistic if i could move around more if i had more space at home then yeah maybe i i could make a thing of it but as it stands now i don't know but i'm not the type of person to not work i want to do something i have to do something what that something is i i really don't know yet but it needs to come soon because obviously after christmas eve there's no money coming in so yeah happy christmas to me oh you can't make it up. Never mind. It is what it is. Um, I'm now going to show you my progress on my... What's it called? Gingerbread cow. My gingerbread cow. It's still not finished. But it's one of those days today where Blythe is going to interrupt things. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, dear. Yeah, so what I was about to tell you was that I just sort of like flattened the bed out a bit so that I could lay um, the gingerbread cow out and show it to you. <laughs> Blythe has other ideas. Blythe would like to play. Would you like to play? Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Would you like Mr. Bump? And you got the squeaks too. <laughs> oh, Blythe. This is what he does. Is that a nice squeaky toy? Can I have your toy? Can I have it? No? Okay. <laughs> Can I have it? <laughs> Give me that toy. He loves being teased. Give me that toy. Yeah. Hello. Right, get off the bed. Good boy. Can you leave? Go get it. Yeah. So, um, no. Oh. 
Oh, Blythe. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to try and... I know, I know, I've got a chew next to me here. Would you like a chew? Would you like a dog chew? Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Off the bed then. Off. Sit. Oh, here comes the other one. Sit. No, get off the bed. Off. No, don't do it. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Go on and turn. Oh, that's pretty. Can you? I haven't, I haven't said anything yet. Whisper. No, that's speak. Whisper. Whisper. Maddie, what can you do? Can you turn? Can you whisper? Whisper. Whisper. Good girl. Right, you get off the bed now then as well, because... So, this is my gingerbread quilt so far. And as you can see, it is all joined together. The middle panel is done. The decorating is done. Focus, please. I've done the gingerbread house decorations in sparkle yarn. So that big central panel is the gingerbread house and then the surface, cro sur surface? surface crochet of the lights, which I really enjoy doing. And then you've got these peppermint swirls in each corner, the Christmas jumper panels with the stripes. And then going all the way round, got this gingerbread and icing border um, that is going to have like gumdrop bubbles all the way around but I thought I'm going to leave those to last because they can be those sort of things um, because I can just do those as and when and I would quite like to get the border finished first so I am on uh, after these three border colours there's another row of the pale peach and then one more row of like this pale green and then you do a fringe all the way around the outside it's like a twisted fringe and i haven't done one of those before on a crochet blanket um so i'm hoping that it doesn't take forever but it's it's actually really big like this is a king size bed and it you know pretty much covers like nearly the whole width of the bed it's so Christmassy isn't it so Christmassy I'm really pleased with it um I used yarn smith's create yarn to make this it looks like I'm gonna have a fair bit left over as well uh, maybe I'll make like a cushion cover or something to go with it one of those might be nice like one of those as a cushion or maybe like that central panel yeah so it's nearly done um I am working on the Gansey jumper as well. That is my main priority, not this. But I'm thinking today, if I manage to get the border done on this, then I, like I say, I can just do these little bobbles as and when. I've got five minutes and I fancy doing a few. And then the ends, I sewed all the ends in on the back. Maddie, get off it. <sighs> Rude. Apart from um, the ends for the borders and the joining. So there's not going to be that many to sew in until I start doing the bobbles and then there will be a lot of ends to sew in. But I'm I'm glad that I kept up with it, with sewing in the ends um, every week. Because if I had all the ends left from the fairy lights and the um, these bobbles and everything, it would be an absolute nightmare at the end and it would take a long time but it's nice isn't it it's very festive very festive indeed I was going to say something else and it's completely gone from my brain what I was going to say um, Blythe is now throwing toys at me because he's finished his chew have you finished your chew where's your toy then can you get Mr Bump can you get Mr. Bump? I've um, set up my desk. Oh, you can't really see it very well, but I've set up my desk over there for Vlogmas. Um, like a background and everything. 
and my autumn stuff is still out because it's still autumn like people are rushing to put their <laughs> their de that's attractive people are rushing to put their decorations up for christmas but it's still autumn and i like to enjoy them a little bit longer so i'm not doing my decorations yet plus we have a real tree um so if we got it too soon it would be dead and also i have no idea where we're going to put the tree this year <laughs> since we moved house so we're going to have to figure that out as well leave um yeah so i'm pleased with this i'm not pleased that blythe keeps lying on it when i get off get that foot off off thank you he's um he is scared of crochet hooks so if i get hi hermione sharp 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 well proving me wrong now proving me wrong usually if he sees a crochet hook or if i say sharp he'll run away obviously not today oh my camera's gone all, all funny maddie are you scared of crochet hooks no you'd eat it wouldn't you yeah maddie's not scared of much really you're not scared are you she is a big dog in a little dog's body. What are you head tilting for now? What do you want? What would you like to do? Would you like... Your ear looks massive, Blythe. Would you like to go and find your ball? And then I can throw... It's not on the bed. It's in your toy box. You have to go and find it. Can you go and find your ball? He's like, but I've got this toy and I want to play with this one. You've got Mr. Bump, haven't you? Where's the squeaks? Where's the squeak? Oh, has he gone to find his ball? We will find out in a second. Maddie um, murdered a toy yesterday and Blythe always gets the blame and he, he's quite... That's not your ball. That's Mr. Bump again. He's very careful with his toys. Like, he's got a Kevin the Carrot from two years ago that he... Two years? No, a year. He's not two yet. Um, that he loves, and it's still in, like, perfect condition. Whereas this one... This one is a toy murderer. Aren't you? Madeline? Madeline, did you unstuff a toy yesterday? Did you kill the moose? You did, didn't you? Was it your moose? I don't think it was. I think it was Blythe's moose that you killed and then stuffed and we had to throw away. Looking for the squeak. That's what she does. She looks for the squeak. Well, I'm not throwing it unless you give it to me. Leave. Goodbye. Um, I have waffled enough oh this that's what i was going to say this blanket that maddie is lying on um is the attic 24 dahlia blanket from a good few years ago um it was one of the crochet alongs and like it has been very well used washed and washed and washed um tumble dried regularly and it's still looking pretty so yeah that is the dahlia yeah, so I'm going to go. <laughs> oh, that was new, wasn't it? Are you not going to chase it? <laughs> yeah, I threw it on the floor, didn't I? I whacked it on the floor. He's actually looking at himself in the mirror right now. Are you handsome? Are you a handsome boy? Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, daily a blanket, um, that is me done, and I'm going to go now, and I will probably see you in a few days, on the 1st of December, when we start Vlogmas. Are you looking forward to Vlogmas? So, no, I don't know what that is, just throw my toy. Get it off my blanket. <laughs>